Okay, we're back with the Steinberger, and I've had it for maybe a year since I posted those initial videos, and it plays well. It sounds, the, the DiMarzio Super Distortion has all that craziness, but you can dial it back, make it sound, um, you make it sound less crazy. You can also do the split coil. This knob here, actually you roll it forward, it's a, it's a humbucker, you roll it back and it's a single coil. I wired it that way, I looked up the wiring on Google electric guitar wiring and I found the, what I needed. Um, the problems are, uh, the neck I think is, since it's been a long time, I think the neck has more relief in it than it should. Uh, we'll check that, <clears throat> but the big problem, that, and that should be, I think, fairly easy to fix if I, if I uh, tighten the, the uh, truss rod a little bit, but the big problem is the bridge itself is held up nicely, and it does crazy dive bombs, but the spring in it is not strong enough to pull flat against the body. Uh, the other problem is the um, the wood screws that I put in, if you can see them, but there there's one right in right in there to to stop. They're not adjusted correctly, so one is making contact before the other. But before that, the spring isn't strong enough. So let me see if I can show you this. So it pulls back, but there's a lot of play in it. I feel like that spring is not strong enough. So, um, and I've got it adjusted. There is an adjustment for it back here. You can adjust it up. You can increase the tension on the spring. The problem is, even with a lot of tension on the spring, it won't pull hard against the body. And um, we might just have a problem that can't be solved. But I'm going to try to do is take this apart and see if I can get a stronger spring for it. So here's the spring, and it's pretty stiff, I'll tell you. It might not be a very good spring, though. It seems very stiff. There's a, some kind of a, an aluminum or maybe steel pad in the end for the screw to go into. So this spring replaces, though, if you have a Stratocaster or a Stratomacaster or a, a, some kind of no caster, Probably if you have the the tremolo bridge, you've got three springs and they are under tension not compression This is one spring under compression and that's why it probably isn't quite as supple maybe As it would be if it were uh, Three springs so I'm gonna look for something that can replace that So that's what's going on there with this. Okay, I've got my shipping scale. And uh, I'm going to press down on it. It's zeroed out. I'm going to press down on it and see how much. Looks like maybe a hundred pounds. All right.
I'm going to one of my favorite companies ever, McMaster Car. I have been a fan for 30 years. They are amazing what they have. So can't recommend them highly enough. And the way the company is run, everything is in stock. It comes the next day for me since their main warehouse is near, not too far away, a couple hours away. So I found this, this is a spring rate calculation thing. And um, here they have 15 pounds over two inches. So that you get seven and a half pound, seven and a half pound feet for, per inch. I need to go about a hundred pounds over half an inch. Here's a McMaster spring. It is, that's the part number, that's the spring. And uh, you get about half an inch of travel. It's a little bit shorter than what I need. It's 1.75, I need 1.95. So it's a little shorter than what I'd like. Uh, the, the wire is thicker. The diameter is about the same, a little bit larger. I can make an adapter. So I'm probably gonna try, uh, but, but I'm probably gonna try this. Here's a cool thing. They're about a, a, a little over a buck and a half a piece. Oh, let's see the rate. Here's the uh, maximum load is 124. That appears to be 30 more pounds than what I was, what I had before. The rate is 274 pounds per inch. This, this could work. This is the spring from McMaster. And let's see if this is any kind of solution to our problem here. How do you set the intonation? How do you move these? Well, these actually the height of this, the height, let's see if I can bring this up. There's a good reflection. The height of the, of each saddle is controlled by these uh, tiny hex, you know, Allen screws. There's one on either side. And um, they are simply, they're not held in any way except for by the side. There is, let's see if I can get a kick off of it there. There's a hole right here with a hex screw. There's nothing on this side, so these are simply pinched together by a single hex screw, and that would appear to be, you know, pretty inadequate, I would say, but it seems to work. Um, the, one of the things about it, though, is you, you loosen this, and then under full tension, you can tap these back and forth, and I've just set these by ear by comparing the 12th fret harmonic with the 12th fret, and if it sounds high, then I know that this is short and I move it back. And if it sounds low, I move it up. So I, I don't have a Peterson tuner. And maybe there are other tuners that where you can compare the, the 12th fret to the harmonic. Anyway, now we have this situation. I didn't think that spring was going to fit in. But let's see how close we are. get this spring out of here okay so now you can see what I'm trying to do here what I'd like to be able to do is fit this right in here and it's pretty close but it won't fit so I think I'm gonna have to turn the end of this spring down on the lathe This is, yes, fits nicely in there now. Um, now the question is, the other end, and it's awfully tight, but there is tension. <laughs> I hope, I hope there isn't so much that it snaps this thing. 
But um, yeah, it's all part of the experiment. Anyway, this fits in here nicely. You can see that I've taken that end down. Not too much either. I think it's okay. If this works, I'll spray coat this with some lacquer so it won't rust. Okay, here's the old spring. Here's the new one. Very close. I might have to cut some of this off, but this is the this is the ferrule, I'm calling it a ferrule, that goes in and it seems to fit actually quite nicely. Now what do you know? The spring is now under tension. I believe that this is really working and yet it seems it actually seems to be really working So my feeling is something might be keeping it from, dot, from coming back. And it might be that the bridge doesn't quite have the clearance. Listen to this. Something's going on there. So back to the drawing board. My first thought is that these knife edges need to be moved up slightly, which will push the whole bridge back um, and change the intonation. But that was actually loose. That's interesting. So is it possible, I have a magnet here, is it possible to move these up? I don't know. Let's see. I'm curious. I have the feeling these are not terribly adjustable. Ah, there's a hole drilled in them. It's a little knife edge like thing that goes around the studs. So let's see. I did feel as though it were somewhat loose. can put those back in, tighten them, see if that makes a difference. So there's less. Well, that's functioning differently. I don't I don't feel it grabbing. We may have done something. I'm going to tighten all the strings. All right, we seem to have some success. The tuning is not really changing as I press. I feel like the bridge is coming to a rest. So. The stronger spring, I think, helped, plus also, I think it was this stud was not tightened and it, there was a jamming. It was loose and maybe there was some rubbing right here. The other thing I'd like to do is put some lubrication on these um, gears. This is whey oil. This is high pressure, high shear strength lubrication for on the lathe. And I think it should be especially good. It's thick and it's made for, for when two pieces of metal are really forced together, which is what's happening here. So 
I'm going to put a tiny drop, tiny bit here on the threads. And also here, just a little bit around this washer whose job it is to spin. That's pretty good after doing a complete dive. I think I'll probably live with that, so. Um, but that's the wonderful Overlord of Music Bridge on the Steinberger. I'll play it a little bit. <clears throat> Please know that I'm not, I do not consider myself an accomplished guitarist. I'm just a guy that plays at home. But I'll try to show you how this sounds. Thank you. 